Yeah, there are a few people stuck, uh, particularly mm. in Cape Breton, uh, by the looks of those pictures, for sure. Yeah, a whole lot of snow fell down there, Ryan. Yeah, absolutely. When we look at the numbers, basically from Pictou County to eastern PEI, Pictou County, and down to the eastern shore and east of that line, widespread 70 to 80 to 90 centimeters. And yeah, reports uh, closer to 100 centimeters, Spanish Ship Bay, Guysboro County, in Ganesh and certainly into the Sydney area where again, volunteer observers reporting 150 centimeters in the Sydney area near downtown. So incredible amounts of snow there and yet one centimeter in Yarmouth. So just an incredible uh, gradient with this from epic to none at all. Now, as we look at the water vapor imagery, this starts on Saturday. This low just sat and spun all weekend. It was a cutoff low. There's no jet stream to carry it along. And so these systems just sit and spin. And unfortunately for us, lots of moisture wrapping in from this clashing with that cold air to the north and west. And so we were in the snow zone for days on end. Now, as we move forward, we're just going to be looking at a few lingering flurries as this thing finally kicks out of the region. But the winds will remain pretty breezy throughout the day on Tuesday and then become lighter on Wednesday with this area of high pressure settling into the region. And we can be thankful for that, for that area of high pressure as it really sets up Thursday, uh, Wednesday into Thursday as this storm riding up the Gulf Stream will stay offshore, a storm for the fish. Now, if this was 2015, you know this storm would be coming in, right? When it's a big storm like this, it gets everybody wondering and thinking back to previous storms. 2015 has come up a lot especially March of 2015, when we had in one week those back-to-back -back storms that dropped 70 to 100 centimeters from Halifax to Sydney. But if we're looking at just individual storms, a couple come to mind. Of course, White Wan gets brought up a lot. 60 to 90 centimeters for western and central areas and into eastern PEI as well. That was a quicker moving storm though. Basically, a one edging into two day event, stronger winds with that one as well. The blizzard of 92 really kind of a lot of uh, comparisons with this one. It was a long duration multi-day storm as well from the 31st of January to February 4th, 102 centimeters in Sydney, 75 in the Halifax area and 163 centimeters in Moncton. The big difference with that one was packing a ton of winds, stronger winds. It was more of a blizzard with uh, gusts up to 140 centimeters, uh, uh, gusts up to 140 kilometers per hour, rather, uh, reported with that one. So yeah, a couple of uh, big storms that we'll remember, and we still need a name for this one, which uh, folks are still kind of debating. Uh, I kind of like uh, Shumadakity Slam, which was uh, just uh, bantered about <laughs> yeah. here in the newsroom. Has yeah, anyone that, checked on Shumadakity Slam? That groundhog was very wrong. Yeah, he <laughs> hasn't made any appearances since that prediction. No one's going to uh, help to dig him out, yeah, I don't think. Sure. Okay, thanks so much, thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you.